Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You are joining us for our December devotionals. From now all the way until Christmas Day, December 25th, we're gonna be taking a look at a different ornament from our Chrismon tree. Now, you probably expected me to say Christmas tree, right? Well, this is our Chrismon tree, and Chrismon is a word that dates back to the 1950s. It's a combination of two other words, Christ and monogram. All of these beautiful gold and white ornaments were each handmade by ladies in our church, and they also depict various names, titles, and attributes of Jesus that remind us of Christmas. Today, we're gonna to look at the ornament that's shaped like a butterfly. Now, I'm sure the butterfly does not seem like a Christmas ornament. Do you have a butterfly ornament on your Christmas tree at home? It probably doesn't even seem like a Christian symbol either. But Christian tradition views the butterfly as a symbol of Jesus' death and his resurrection. Romans 6, 4 says we were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Now, of course, this feels more like the Easter story, right? Jesus died on the cross, he was buried in a tomb, and then three days later, he arose again, and he now offers us new life and forgiveness in him. So for Christians then, the butterfly becomes a symbol because a butterfly also dies to being a caterpillar. The butterfly goes into a cocoon for a length of time and then emerges from that cocoon in new life. Symbolically, butterflies are creatures with the ability to transcend the ordinary and they sprout wings and they fly to heaven. And I know Christmas is usually a time when we focus on Jesus's birth, but the story of Easter is still an important part of that very same story. This Christmas, let's give thanks for all of Jesus' life and all that he has done for us. Merry Christmas.